All right, welcome guys. Uh, Jono here, and I have a special guest with me. His name is Otim, or Manny. I'm not yeah, what's sure. up guys? <laughs> yeah, either one, either one. Awesome. Um, yeah, so we're both um, class members in Objective Personality. Today, we're actually going to be talking about the decider functions. We've got me, F-I-T-E, and Manny, which is T-I-F-E. Yep. Before we get too involved in this, I actually want to discuss your type. Um, Mr. Manny. Okay. <laughs> so two questions. What's okay. So when you got into typology, obviously yeah, yeah. you went into MBTI, right? Yep. Yep. Cool. So what's when you, um, were down that, that, uh, rabbit hole, what mm -hmm. did you type yourself as, or what did you get? Like what MBTI? Type yeah. Did you get? So I, it was really funny. I got INFJ, but I got, well, I came across it. Uh, from like a, he's called I think EJ R and D or something. So it's this channel. Um, it's this guy. He had a YouTube channel and he would just talk like a lot of shit. And he would talk a, lo a lot about MBTI. He talk about types. And I just I saw a type video he did about INFP versus INFJ. And I remember that day I was just like, wow. Like I haven't looked at all the other types, but like I just feel like I'm definitely an INFJ. And then I was like, I I'm. I'm that's, I can't just assume I'm an INFJ. So I did the tests, I got INFJ, then I was still skeptical. And I learned about the whole theory, learned about all the different types. And I was like, wow, like I'm definitely an INFJ. And then like the whole time I've always yeah. been an INFJ. Did you know, all like the, the, um, the descriptions and stuff about INFJ and the cognitive functions that I call like, did that all like really make sense to you? Like, did it really resonate with you? And it did, it, it resonated in the sense that INFJ was as close as it, as it could get to being me. I still had like some doubts with INFJ, but like as a process of elimination, like there was no, like all the other types were even further away from relating to me. So like whenever I, I was like, oh, maybe I'm not an INFJ, I always came back to that because I was like, these types are like even less like me. So, okay. yeah. And then you found objective personality? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I got taped by... Dave and Shannon, they typed me INFJ too, but like a weird version of INFJ. Yeah, so an INFJ jumper. So you're not a feeler, <laughs> yeah. you're a thinker, but you're an INFJ. Yeah, which is weird. It's Do you want to go into a bit of detail about the animals and like... Yeah, they're... yeah. So um, I assume the audience knows like about the different animals. So I'll just say what my animals are. So I'm a sleep, consume, play, and I'm missing blast. And um, I'm masculine, feminine, uh, and ITI. So cool. I'm missing blast. And uh, what makes me a weird INFJ is because uh, the blast animal includes NIFE, which is the stereotypical functions mm. of exactly. INFJ. And that's what I'm missing. So it's kind of weird. It's like so it's it's so weird because you're an INFJ, but like your demon is NF. Yeah, yeah, it's really weird. It, <clears throat> I, I think to be fair, to be honest, I think um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Right. I think the, the the stacks, like the functional stack, still plays a role. So even though, like even though I'm missing blast, so I have issues with all the blast quality. So getting started and like communicating, it, I think my NF is still there though. Do you know what I mean? Like even though it's missing blast, like my NF is high in my functional stack. So it's like. Yeah. I've always been really into NF stuff. It's like, like really, you have, you've got the NF muscles that are there, they're big. Yeah, you just I just don't use them. Much. But when you do use yeah. them, it's like, okay, it's... It, yeah, exactly, yeah. Very interesting, cool. So, um, yeah. All right, yeah. nice, man. So, um, we're going to talk about TI, FE in you, yeah. uh, FI, TE in me. And let's just work it out. Like, let's try to figure out what's going on there with the deciders. Yeah, yeah. They're both in the middle for us, so we're kind of pretty balanced between them. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Let's figure it out. I'll start with saying, for me, ENFP, um, yeah. that uses TE, I've, I've always, I've noticed recently that I kind of sometimes will struggle to understand someone that is a <laughs> TI user. <laughs> I've told you this before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's so, like, it was so fascinating. Yeah. So what I want to yeah. understand is I really want to, let's, let's get into TI a bit. Let's, let's try to figure out like what TI is, your experience with it. And let's try to like unpack yeah. it. <clears throat> yeah. 
What is T.I.? Um, what is T.I.? I guess it's, like, I don't, I don't want to just say it. I don't want to just talk from, like, the description, like, sure. the definition. Yeah, what I want to just talk from, like, your... what does it actually mean to me? Yeah. So I guess T.I. with me is, um, it's kind of like when I'm doing something and, like, I, like, let's say I want to try something. As stupid as it is, as as um as dumb as it is, as as um just any negative downside in what I'm doing. Like as as obvious as those negative downsides are, like I don't want to hear. Like unless I ask for your opinion, or unless I ask for like you to interfere or guide me or give me any any like um. Yeah, anything. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to, like, so when I'm, like, doing something and, like, someone tells me, oh, that's, don't do that or whatever, like, the there's an internal feeling of fuck you, basically. It's just, <laughs> like, it's, like, it, like, it's a very, um, if, if, basically, it's if I want to do something and it's going to fail, I want to experience that myself. Right. It has nothing to do with like other people, so it's it's annoying. If I find it annoying, if I feel people interfering with that, right? Okay. So that's that's I think that's ti. I guess. That's yeah, it's TI. like your your internal reasoning, your internal like opinions, in a sense. Yeah, because and like, it's not even like. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's not. It's very like it's nothing to do with kind of. Um, Opinions, like in the sense that, um, uh, let's say we're talking about Donald Trump, right? And and like I'm like, oh, he's he's a terrible person, or like, oh, he did this dumb, or what? It's not like opinions in the sense of pointing things in the world, pointing at things in the objective world, and like mm. labeling it, or like, it's 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 more of an actual practical um, experience. It's like. It's my way of doing something. That's what it feels like for me. And I guess that might be the SE being paired with the TI, but it's like, it's always to do with how I do things. I want to do it this way. I want to try this method. It's very like right. method, experimental. Oh, I, I want to try sleep at this time to see if it helps me with my energy. If someone's like, oh no, that's a dumb idea. I'm like, it's nothing to do with you. I want to find out for myself. Yeah. You Would know, you say, it's um... a dumb idea. Would you say that, like, in that respect, like, you've kind of worked out this this method in your brain, like, kind of like a logical kind of steps or blueprint about something, and therefore you yeah. want to actually see if that will work? In the, yeah. You've worked out this internal method. It may not make sense to other people. It makes sense to you. Yeah. Or well, you want to try it and see if it works. Is that... Yeah. That's yeah. That right? That's yeah. That's see, it. see, what we're doing right now is, like, you're, you're, you're kind of, like, explaining your TI, right? And in your mind, yeah. it works your way. And I'm trying to like regurgitate it in like a, like the practical external way. Yeah, you you've just you made more sense to it. <laughs> make, you made it make more sense. Um, yeah, you explained that really well. That's interesting. Like, cause yeah, like TI is something of I like so bit of context here. I used to think I was an INFJ as well back in the day, yeah. and <laughs> I thought that I was always like in TI, and I thought I knew what TI was, and then to find <laughs> out that I'm actually a TE user. I was like, okay, now I have no idea what TI is. So now I'm trying to, yeah. that's what I'm trying to work it out. So yeah, yeah. I can say that because like, I'm going to compare it to my FI. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like, it's kind of similar in the sense because like your TI is masculine, my FI is masculine. So we both have these, I guess, it's a real kind of, um, it's almost, how do I, it's almost like a traffic light, like a red traffic light. Something comes at you, it's like, stop. Like, I want to, figure this thing out before I actually move on it or before I actually change my opinion on something. So I, it has to make, I have to be able to see value in something or I have to really like think, okay, yeah, I could really get on board with this or yeah, that would be, <laughs> or this will, this will really like make me feel like this and I'll, I'll be able to like yeah, yeah. receive all this emotional feeling out of it. Um, yeah. And then I can kind of get on board and do it. So for me, it's, it, I kind of see the similarity. Like for you, it, you have to kind of like logically work it out in your mind and kind of create these, yeah. your own like, that's the like crazy fit my agenda. Yeah. 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 
But yeah. for me, I have to just, I kind of just have to like feel it, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yes. wow. Yeah, and I think, I want to ask you this question. So with you mm-hmm. and you're like, when, when you want to approach something with yeah. your guy, do you kind of like work it out and think, okay, where, am I going to be able to fit this into my routine or am I going to be able to fit this into my day? And then you go do it or do you just kind of like, yep, it works, I'm going to do it, regardless of it, if it will actually fit into your routine or if you have the, the time to be able to pursue it. Right. It kind of, it, it kind of has to, like bef- before I even say, can I fit this in my routine? It like, it, it will only be worth pursuing if it's related to my routine. If you know what I mean? Okay. It's kind of like a filter. And I guess that's TI being very limited. Like I'll only see things that like are related to my routine anyway. So the moment I'm like, engaging with it it's like it's already something that fits in my routine do you know what i mean yeah sure makes sense. Yeah, so that's is- how i found it so the reason why i ask is yeah for me like when i when i value something i yeah i really disrespect like the tea so i'll like take in all these things i'm like oh that's really cool i want to try that i want to do this because it's gonna it's gonna really like satisfy my fi but i don't yeah, yeah. i don't reason with all those things and therefore when I, I try to, I then take on too many things. Oh, I try to like incorporate too many things into my life that I don't, I don't fully rationalize it properly. And yeah. I end up just, <laughs> yeah, I'm, you, I'm know no what? Routine, you know what I mean? Like it just, I take yeah. it because of the feelings and the, the, the cool vibe <laughs> that I don't, it's not rationalized. I haven't rationalized. Yeah, you, you know what? Like that, that has happened before, like quite a few times. Um, where like, there'll be specific ideas that I think are like really cool things that I should take on. And like, I'll just want to do all of them. And uh, it just doesn't work. It, it, it's not like, it's almost like, what's the point in me doing all these things? Like, um, I touched on this in some other video. Um, I don't know if your viewers know about the video, but it, it's a video with another uh, guy who's actually in FP too. And, um, we were discussing about my issues with um, like being a bit too EP ish, even though I'm an IJ and uh, that's, that, that's what happens too with the TI. Like I'll, I'll see things that I think are really like cool things to take on. And if, if there's a lot of them, I'll just want to just do them. But I guess they're not, they're not like, they don't have refinement. They're not, I don't know how to say it. And the only way I can think of it is like they're my F, is not working like what's the point in these things like how is it gonna yeah okay. be good for me i guess i just get really interested in them i'm like i just want to take them all on but awesome. um but yeah so with with ti then and it being like a very kind of rational or like logical function do you yeah. kind of see yourself when you're working things out do you kind of like compared to other people do you think that you are able to figure things out in your mind differently to how like other people perceive them or um do i i guess i guess um i i guess i do feel rational but it's it's not because i'm like i, I don't think it's only because i'm a uh, savior ti i think it's also because i'm a double decider mm. that i'm i'm also able to stay quite calm and like rational and that, I feel like that's also a thing with double deciders like they they just automatically do come off more level headed it's weird so it's weird but I, I i don't know if that's specifically ti or just a double decider thing but like sometimes a situation will happen i'll be like all right this is this is the answer um to the situation like a logical answer then i'll be like oh this is how i feel about it oh i feel kind of upset and I'll be like, oh, that person feels this way. How do my emotions fit into this? And then it's like, I'm not overreacting. It's like my response to the situation is like taking in different aspects. Yeah. So um, that just seems double decider as opposed to specifically TI, I yeah. guess. Yeah, and like double deciding is, is super interesting like because it's obviously our middle kind of functions. And um, I, I really feel like, I'm easy. I can easily move with the tribe over my, my FI. So even though my FI is masculine and like, I'll have a certain thing that I want to do. And I was like, no, I want to do this. If, if the tribe are kind of like 
have a different opinion, I'll, I, I, I kind of uh, can easily just, you know, move with the tribe a bit more and kind of yeah. sacrifice a little bit of that, like internal values or, um, I guess not doing what I want to do type thing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Not doing it. That's, that must be so weird because, um, having a mask and FI and then just not doing what you want to do. That's so weird. At least for me, it's like, it's not really what I want to do. It's just a, pre- a preference of like how I things, how I want things to play out. But for you, it's literally what you want. You're, you're sacrificing that. That's yeah. crazy. And I, I've, I always wonder like, cause with my type and my, my, like my wiring and stuff, um, yeah. a TE is actually non-activated. So that's like TE for me is almost like the biggest demon. Even though yeah, yeah. Past, SI, SI is activated, but yeah. TE is like, I feel Just, like it, it, I have like a, like a, a fear of the tribe. So I kind of mm-hmm. like don't want to upset them or something. And I yeah, think that yeah. really plays out in the double deciding. It's like, okay. I, yeah, I, me too. In order to. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I think that's the same yeah, thing, yeah. right? Your FE yeah, is yeah. activated. Yeah, yeah. Everything exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's exactly like, like I'll just, um, I'll consider things more like, and I, it's even like the little things. I'll be aware about how, how this, how doing this, thing against the tribe might affect the tribe and um yeah so like i'll, I'll always consider that for yeah. sure for sure that's super interesting um and if, if i if if i wanna if i wanna say no to the tribe it'll it'll be like a very um like oh i'm not i don't it'll be like um how do i say it it, it won't be like a direct no it'll be a, a very passive mm-hmm. no It'll be a no, I'm hoping... Kind of like they su- swaying around like the... Yeah, like I, I hope they support me in my no type of... Yeah. Like a really like... Yeah. So I guess this this comes like with being blast last. So yeah, Manny and I are both blast lasters. Yeah. Um, I feel that... So the, the tribe functions or the, you know, the extroverted decider functions are last. Therefore, yeah. <clears throat> we both struggle to communicate to the tribe. But... um. <clears throat> We, like, I'm, like you said, like you both have this fear of the tribe and how they're going to react. But um, yeah, I guess, do you kind of, like, knowing that you have blast last, do you feel like, uh-huh. and now that you know everything you do about objective personality, do you, are you kind of like more aware of the fact that you oh, yeah. communicate? Yeah, yeah. I, I think um, I've always known it though. Like, it's like, I've always known it, but I didn't know if it was like um, a personality thing. I thought it was a, a individual, yeah. unique individual thing. Cause like, I don't know. Cause it's not something people openly talk about. Like people talk about being shy, but like, even though I'm not like shy, I still struggle to communicate in the sense that like at school, I used to be shy. And mm-hmm. then uh, when I went to university, I made an active effort in like, you know, being very outgoing. And like, I got to the point where I was, I had like a good social circle and everything, but I still had that innate, hmm, like, I don't really want to talk. Like, if there's a big group of people, like, I really, I'm just like, I'm not going to say anything. Do you know, like, I really feel like the more people, the less the less point there is in me talking. Yeah. Do you feel like, so like because you don't want to like, you, you feel like you could trigger like a tribe member and they'd take it wrong. And then like, you're not going to, because you struggle to communicate, you're not going to be able to justify why you said something or like, if you've made a mistake when you've said <laughs> something, it's like, Oh shit. Now how am I going to, how am I going to recover this? Yeah. It's, it's like, there's more. Yeah. There's more on stake for sure. Like more tribe members. It's like more people to judge you like there's the high high probability of saying something that will be not good <laughs> yeah. and um and it's just like just a lack of confidence like it's almost like i just assume that no one's gonna care <laughs> I, I, I think you said it right like the, the lack of confidence i think that's like the biggest issue for blast lasters is like the confidence in front of the tribe yeah yeah like, yeah for sure and i i know like every time i'm i know we're kind of really kind of just talking about like the blast last thing here but Every time I'm put in front of the tribe and it happens to me at work sometimes, like when I'm in a big group of people and I have to share information or I have to like talk, yeah. like it's all of a sudden just feels like this, like 
like I'm on fire or something. And yeah, like, yeah. His eyes are on me. I'm, like, <laughs> up. I'm like, shit, be careful what you say. Yeah. Like, in my mind, I'm just like, I'm talking, I'm talking. In my mind, I'm saying like, what are you talking about? You sound like a complete idiot. Oh my God. To the point, point you idiot. What are you talking about? Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh shit, you said it. Oh fuck. Oh man. <laughs> you, know, you know, like that, that description was very good. Like that was so good. Yeah. Like, like it's the worst when you have the, um, the critic in your head while you're blasting, yeah. telling you you're doing a bad job. And then you just, it throws you, it makes you do worse. Like it yeah. throws you off. You're like, um, exactly. um, and you're like, you, you can't talk anymore because you have part of your head telling you all the things you're doing wrong and you have to process that while everyone's watching you like talking it's yeah. oh man and I it's mean, the one, worst. one thing i've noticed as well when i'm like when i'm trying to <laughs> when i'm trying to blast i'm trying to like do the te thing um i'll want to take my preference more to play so like when yeah. i'm trying when i'm when it's my duty to like share information to people mm-hmm. i actually am trying to i'm actually waiting for like people to like to respond back to me in like that yeah. kind of style so when i blast i'll like pause for a second just to like gauge the reactions yeah yeah and i call it this is not supposed to be like a, a conversation this is supposed to be me sharing information yeah like, uh, i'll kind of i kind of i kind of pause and i'll look and i'm like holy shit no one's saying anything no one's like responding. yeah everyone's face looks so bored shit what do i do yeah <laughs> I yeah just gotta, i just gotta keep rolling with it so man yeah i like if it, like we spoke about this earlier, but I tend to, I like look away when I'm trying to talk yeah. and it's like, it's easier for me to process what I want to say and all that. But a sec, another aspect is the fact that I don't get to look at the person I'm talking to. Cause if I do, when I do look at like the people, like you just said, I get really paranoid that they think I'm like talking absolute trash. Yeah. Like I'll look at the expression. I'm like, they probably think I'm just talking trash. Like it's so <laughs> weird. It's so weird. Yeah, it's a, a um, struggle. Like the real thing we're to learn is just to like we have to like learn how to push those shit out of our out of our heads. Yeah. Because yeah, at the end sure. of the day, like no one actually cares. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's true. Like the same way you don't you just take in the information and um that's actually another thing about TI, actually, what you just said. Tell me. Um it's like I'm trying to think of exactly how to word it. I guess it's like when I have, um, oh man, I really need like a few minutes to process this. Sure. Um, when I have, uh, I'll just pause the video, dude. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I'm trying to, cause I, I was thinking about this earlier, but it's like, it's not concrete in my head, but it's like a very specific thing about TI and it's to do with like not caring. I think it's like when I, Oh, it's like when when I when I have something to say to someone, like uh, a tidbit of information that I think is useful, like something I think is really cool. So it's like a TI idea. I'm like, oh, this works like this, or like da da da, right? Um, how what you do with that information is your problem. Like, I'll give that information knowing, oh, this was good for me, right? And like that's that is good enough for me. Like me saying something like based on TI or T the metric for it being good is me. So like, if I tell you it and, and um, you know, I, I just say it, it's like, that's it. Like, that's fine. And I think I've been in situations where someone's like, um, I don't know. I think I spoke to someone about this, but essentially I don't care what you do with what I tell you. And that's like, that's your, like, that's your problem. Right. Okay. Once I give you the information, it's up to you to make it your TI. So mm-hmm. that's what I assume with everyone. Like I assume everyone is taking care of their own internal logic. It's it's weird. Like I'm, I assume everyone is making things work for them. So when I say stuff, I assume someone, they will like make it work for them. But that's like opposite to, to the TE or the DE person because they're, they're assuming like they need to make the information very clear because because they're trying to make it work for everyone. It's so weird. Yeah, it's like before I before I value this, I need to make it work in like the the external world. I need to like te yeah. like build it together, and then once I've I can actually work it out, then I can actually value it. <clears throat> yeah, it's yeah. like this. It's like this translation. It's like 
I don't know if you know much about network computer networking at all or maybe how I don't know. information passes like from from a, a computer over the internet kind of thing. anyway basically it's like you're sending this piece of like you've got this ti logic right and then yeah you're, yeah you're kind of like before it, before you like vocalize it you kind of like need to cover it in some value so you've got this yeah ball, yeah this ball of logic and then you're covering it in like this value this layer of value and then you yeah, pass yeah, it back yeah. to the tribe and the tribe are like okay they need to understand it i need to kind of work it out and see how it works and then once i've done that i can then take the move the value layer off and then actually <laughs> i can actually receive i'm like okay yeah i value that like I, yeah I can, yeah it's like it's like we're like it's almost like we're speaking a different language like yeah luckily we're speaking english but internally the process the process yeah is so different yeah so well i just had a quick question sure. the computer thing is it called like t i c p programs t c p i p yeah yeah so okay, that, that's interesting. a networking function protocol yeah in interesting fact um forager and um like forage using similar parts like the same patterns as yeah. that as um as though as the um the programs that's just a random fact okay someone was yeah there was there was um i don't know if you heard of jason silver uh, he's no. um kind of like a he talks he's a very he's he's an intuitive he talks a lot about patterns and he was talking about how there's um like so many patterns between biology um technology and um space and he was talking about so there's that pattern with the forager ants and the uh the networks net networking and um and he was saying he was saying stuff like um i don't know i can't remember the sensory but what's his name just a, uh jason silver i'm gonna write it down i'm gonna watch yeah it. send me some yeah. links later yeah, yeah for sure for sure wait so just just going back on that like translation thing of the, of the processes in a mind can you like do you have have you ever identified how like you translate your ti logic into like external values like um like if you if is there do you have an example where like you've learned something you mm -hmm. think about in your mind and then mm -hmm. you've noticed that you've been able to like explain why people should value this, this piece of why people should value it um let me think um it's hard because it's not like the value aspect of it is like it's it's, it's more emotional it's like it's like for example i really i really get interested in um psychology stuff because because i love all spectrums of psychology stuff but there's certain ones where I'm learning about it and I really like think it's cool, but then I'll feel good because it has a basis in like mental health, for example. So I'll be like, oh, you know, people can actually feel, get some value out of this. And it's, it's more of a emotional response. It's like, yeah. oh, like I feel, I feel the value of this, right? And what it works, it's a, it's a T thing. Like my dissertation, for, um, you know, after my neuroscience degree, I had to do a dissertation in my third year. And it was based on um, uh, something called theta burst stimulation. So it's this contraption that um, basically using a magnetic field, it stimulates neurons in your brain. Mm -hmm. And that was used as like therapy for depression and stuff. So that was my dissertation. It was about that. And um, I love, I like the T aspect of it, I think is really cool. Like, I love like learn like understanding how it works neurologically. Then I was like, I just felt really good about it because I was like, like people actually can benefit. So it's more of an emotion. Like I, it's an emotional response. Like oh shit, like this is good. Like you just feel it in your bones. Yeah, right. Okay. So it is. It is very feely. Like it's just a feeling that you have, and you're able to like express off that feeling. Yeah. Um. Express that feeling. Um, I guess I don't express it because I don't blast, but I oh I pretend like I always have these like. Do you pretend like like you're monologuing to people, like like I do it like about things I care about, but which I never actually talk about because I'm like no one will care about that. Excellent. But I guess I'm not sure. I need to think about yeah. that. I guess it's because my blast is based on FE, so like. 
I it'll be very like I'll imagine blasting and giving value to people, but okay. I never actually do it. <laughs> I don't know. I probably do. I just can't remember. I just can't. Nah, I don't. I don't remember any specific instances. What about you? <clears throat> uh, what was the question again? <laughs> yeah, you were like, how do you do? You, um, have any instances you remember where you've turned your di into yeah. your t? So that's okay. fi um, stuff turns te. I can't. I, I can't give specific examples, but a pattern I've noticed is that, like, when I do value something, mm -hmm. like. I do give reasons for it. So wow. it's like, I don't know, like when, I, when I'm talking to my friends and stuff and I'm trying to get them on board with things, yeah. I feel like I need to give them like bullet points of information as, as to why they should value this thing. Yeah. So like for example, with objective personality, right? Like I was trying to get my friend in, into it for, for months. And it was like, yeah, later, later, later. Yeah, yeah. Like I just kept hassling him. And I would like, I remember I just like, like these long posts, like these long text posts. And I'd like give all these like bullet points as to like yeah. all the reasons why you should, you should do this. And he, he was like a lead. He's a lead TE as well. So like, yeah, yeah. I, know, I feel like he was able to understand it and yeah. obviously got FI. So he's able to then value it. Um, yeah. So yeah, I just noticed that I'm always trying to give bullet points. And like, whenever I want to share something, I will like just jot down, what are the major you, like reasons? Do you think that would work for someone with um, like TIFE or FETI as as well as uh, T person? Yeah, that's a good question. Like, and I've thought about this a lot. Like, do TI people communicate yeah. their their logic through like values or external emotions? Yeah, mine, <laughs> mine. And I, I was thinking, like, I was I was putting myself in the position of your your friend. So I was like if you were giving me loads of reasons to do something, um, it's not that I'd be scared. I wouldn't reject it necessarily. I would listen to it, but like, I'll be very selective. Would you like, be like, criti like critical of the reasons? Like trying to look at yeah, them like, like, very analytical on them. Like, yeah. Don't, don't agree with I'd, that. I'd really, in a sense, like, yeah, I'd really try to see if they actually apply to me. Okay. Like I'd be very, um, selective of, of, so, of what reasons so you look at all the reasons and try to work out does that apply to me yes or no does that apply yeah to me? no it's kind of like yeah. a, almost like an algorithm yeah <laughs> if if yes then okay if no then yeah. yes that would yeah. me no that way is that, is that yeah. kind of how a ti works <laughs> yeah yeah exactly. that's, that's interesting Just, so you're kind of like just dissecting like information in your mind like yeah. that applies to me that applies to me that applies to me that applies to me the rest is shit get rid of it yeah, yeah, no, no, that's yeah, exactly, wow. yeah, and um, I was thinking, you know, when you're just talking about how you turn your values into reasons for the tribes to get on board, I was thinking about that, and I just realized, if, if I have an agenda, and I want someone to get on board with it, I have to turn my thinking brain off, and I just, like, send them values, and, like, it's weird, because I, I don't really think it'll work but like somehow it does okay it, it just feels like i'm covering my eyes and i'm just doing something so like i'll just be like oh no come on it'll be good it'll be you'll have a good time i'll just say random things you'll that, have fun you'll like enjoy the yeah yeah. Thing. yeah yeah i'll just say like values will be like now nah, that like think how trash that's gonna be if you do this this is gonna be good like come this way or like i'll just be really playful and just say things that i just don't think will convince them but somehow it does seem to work but it feels very uncomfortable but um but yeah it's weird man ti yeah i don't know you're helping me understand it more it's it's really cool it's very oh like, yeah i have a question oh yeah go on no no you ask me ask me um you know how i said about i'd be selective if you gave me te reasons so if i did that with my values just like throwing them at you mm. would you be like hella selective like like whether you care about the values I'm throwing at you, yeah, would you be okay. like, I guess, nitpicky. Um, <laughs> yeah, I need to kind of work this out. So I guess, so do you, do you have an example where like you've used like values, giving people values? It's like, it's really, really just superficial. Like I can't even. It feels superficial. 
even like the way I say it is kind of like it's very surface values. It's not like I'm engaging a deep conversation with you and I'm just talking yeah. about how good how good um, being a vegetarian uh, a vegan is for like animals. It's not like a deep value. It's just it's just an arbitrary. Let's go to the park like and I just tell you that it's good. You should do it. Um, it'll, we'll have fun and like I'll be emotive and like I guess my emotive behavior as well as part yeah, of I guess, you, I guess I guess for you like you, you said it would sound superficial I guess that is that because maybe Effie is like kind of a demon and it, when you're using it it doesn't feel genuine so therefore you think it's superficial there's that there's that it feels superficial and I think as well like what I'm saying is superficial like right. I'm literally just I'm just like being excited about something and yeah. trying to shove my excitement okay. to you about that thing. That's it. Like not even like substantial value. It's just this thing's good. I'm excited, feel excited about it. And then I'm trying to push that on you. Okay. That's it. But for you, it feels yeah. fake or superficial, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I wonder like, I don't think other people would probably feel the same. Yeah. I don't know if it depends how they're looking at it. But for me in that, in that ex- example, like yeah. I would be like, do I want to feel that feeling right now? Like, I, yeah, don't, exactly. I don't think I want that feeling. Like, I don't <laughs> care. That's great. It's great that it's going to be fun, but I don't want to feel that. Like an example, <laughs> yeah. actually, my girlfriend yesterday, she's like, oh, um, this is obviously a long weekend for Easter. She's like, oh, what do you yeah. want to do tomorrow? And I'm just like thinking of some things. Um, we've planned a few little activities to do at the weekend. She's like, do you want to go to the beach? I'm like, no, I don't feel it. Like, she's like, oh, you know, it'd be fun. And, you know, she just <laughs> go to the outdoors. And I'm just like, I, I don't want to feel that. I don't want to feel the sand. I don't want to feel the water. I don't want to be in that environment because I know yeah, yeah. what the feelings are going to be like. And I don't want to feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's weird? Uh, maybe it's tied to the fact we're both, um, like, maybe consume consume sleep or maybe because we're energy dominant but i'm i'm i do that exact same thing with my girlfriend where i'm just like i i know what that experience entails mm. it's right now is not the moment for that like i don't want that right it could now. be the blast last and it could be the blast last i think oh man it's forcing a- like forcing you out like to be like in the moment like extroverted in the sensory yeah. could even be like intuitive over sensory thing who knows yeah yeah but yeah that as well like the whole yeah lots of sensory different. experience but, for you, like se is your demon right so it's like and like in, when you're in a beach it's like i don't know if this is how you describe se but it feels like you're in the senses all your senses are engaged it's hot it's cold water there's sand there's feel there's all this like sensory stuff going on yeah for me um i it, that's what i guess i see seems like it should be like right because you're taking in everything yeah um, my sc is very um i just i look at things one mine isn't i'm t- a ter- first of all like i'm a terrible multitasker and like i just take things one at a time but i like i go through them sporadically like i'm i'm very scattered and i think it's because i have double some sleep consumed place so i have like double activated SC and it's masculine. So like I'm scattered, but it's like one thing at a time. Like, Ooh, this, Oh, this, Oh, this, Oh, this. Okay. And I go around, it's like weird. And, um, pay attention I to t- different like sensory kind of things. Yeah. Like, one at a time. Yeah. Experiencing all and taking, all, yeah. living in the moment, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's like one at a time. And I'm very like child. It, I think it's maybe because it's like, a double activated demon but it's i'm very very like childlike like if i'm walking outside with my girlfriend like i'll just be touching things like i just i do really stupid stuff like i was in a party and i was just like i was talking with my i was with my friends i was getting kind of bored i was playing with uh, a beer bottle and i was trying to see how far my finger could go <laughs> down and i got it stuck and it was really <laughs> embarrassing I just do stupid stuff where I'm just like exploring things. I'm just How like, did you get oh, that? Just, just like break it or? I was, uh, that's what I suggested, but my TESI um, uh, friend was like, why would you do that? And I was like, oh shit, that's stupid. Cause like, like if I break, it'll shatter and just cut up my hand. So, um, but I, yeah, I just 
it took a few minutes, but I, I did pull it out. Eventually. Apparently, apparently lube helps if you put lube on your finger. Yeah, yeah, that was I was gonna do that. <laughs> I, yeah, I was gonna do that. Um, That's funny. But, it's funny because yeah, so, I did something like that a, a while ago, a long time ago when I was in high school. You know those like um, it's like these tubes of like wet wipes that you can pull out. Yeah, yeah. Like oh yeah. Stuff. They've got like this this small hole at the top with all these like little um little teeth that kind of point inwards, like little triangles. Right, right. I know what you so mean. You can yeah. Pull it out and it's like, so it rips off when you. So I actually I put my finger in there once, and because the teeth like bend down like this, my finger. Oh like, no! Yeah, 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 yeah. And I it's couldn't like, get it out. I was like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I pulled it. It would get like more and more like no. into my skin. Oh my I god! I was freaking out. Like I was, <laughs> I was probably like fourteen or thirteen at the time. Yeah, yeah. Freaking out. I was like, I was at school and my dad was a teacher. So I was like just chilling in his classroom and like there was no one around. He was like in a meeting or something. And I'm just like freaking out. Like, what the heck do I do? What do yeah, I just yeah. like, I just kind of bit. I had to like bear with the pain. My sister was with me at the time. I got her to like just find my, my dad. I'm like, go find dad. Help me. So he's like, she went, I didn't want to run into like a meeting with this thing stuck on my finger. Go, help me, help me. So anyway, yeah, she 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 went and found him. He came out and he like he just, I'm pretty sure he's an ST. I think he's like T E S E. I think he's a jump E J jumper. And yeah. He was yeah. just kind of like just looking around and he found like this little scalpel that he had and yeah. he just kind of like started like slicing it open and eventually just kind of got it out. <clears throat> yeah. So easy, but yeah, mad mad freak out. That's funny. Um, I've probably done like more stupid things. Um. I like, yeah, I'm, yeah, that's funny though. Yeah. Um, that, it's just so weird. I feel like it's, it's, it's that masculine sensory. You just can't help but like just want to investigate that sensory. Like you want to like push yourself and you want to go there. You really want to go there yeah. with like wherever that is. Um, um, like, I, like I need, like um, I, um, I can't, I actually like drowned. Wait, oh, I nearly drowned. Well, I did drown, but I got rescued. But um, it was when I was really young, and I I still can't swim. But in uh in my primary school, we had like a shallow pool and a deep pool. Yeah. And I used to just normally just mess around in the shallow pool, like just doing dives and stuff. If I was feeling like I just wanted to like experience the deep pool, which like you know, I couldn't swim. I'd go in it and I'd like just go around the edge. I'd go around the whole pool and like sometimes like go in a little bit and like hold, like, and just like test it and like just keep, I just wanted to be there. And then I slipped one day and I just, I drowned and then someone had to, someone had to save me, but, um, it's still alive, dude. Yeah, I'm still alive. (laughs) Is is it, is, is it drowned if you died or, I think if, if you drowned, you're essentially dead. You're dead, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I, so I, I, I nearly drowned. Okay, yeah. yeah. I nearly drowned. <laughs> it, you, you know when, like, you see it in movies where it's, like, the person's thing goes, like, vision goes blurry and it's, like, like they open their eyes and, like, it, it's exactly like that. It's, like, yeah. exactly, like, how you see it. Um, That's cool. Yeah. So I actually had a question for you and I'm not sure, this is not really, this is a little bit off topic from the F I and T and the TA, TF stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, um, and you kind of talked about this earlier before we um, went live, but yeah. you said that um, like for us, especially like missing blast, we kind of yeah. have like these energy levels that kind of go up. We both like chat, chat, chat. And then it kind of just kind of dips down. Dips down yeah. It's kind of like out of energy type thing. Yeah. So, I actually love those, like when those happen, like when I'm talking with people, mm-hmm. so if I'm in a group conversation and like, we're kind of chatting and then everyone just kind of just goes, it's like <laughs> awkward, you know, yeah. there's one person that says awkward or something. Well, there's always one person that's like, uh Oh, what do we do now? It's like, yeah, yeah. I love those moments because I don't, I don't know if this is in any FI thing, but mm-hmm. I love those moments because at that moment, everyone is just like freaking the shit out. Like, everyone's mind is just going, oh, what's going to happen? Who's going to talk next? You know, what do I say? Oh my God. And I love those moments because I like to just like see like people's reaction. I just like to see yeah. people freaking out in their minds and like their facial like expressions really show. This is, um, th- this reminds me of, this is one thing I have with FI. Like you, like if it's, if it's a, a, a lead FI, it's like more, 
uh, accidentally fucking with people. But it seems like the double decider of our saviors enjoy messing with people. And like, so that situation you just talked about, that makes me really anxious. I'm like, oh shit, people are, people are, um, are going a bit like tense about the situation. Mm. That this isn't good. Like, I feel bad about that. Cause like, it'll be like, it'll go quiet. And I'm, I'm always chilled. I'm always like, I'm happy at being quiet, yeah. but I feel uncomfortable about the person being uncomfortable. Exactly. Like I'm thinking about how they feel. I'm like, oh shit. But you, you're actually like relishing. I'm loving it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what is this person going to say? Are they going to say something stupid because they're under yeah, the- This is like, FI, man. And like, I don't care that I'm quiet. Like, so like I've noticed this like throughout my whole life. Like even when I'm like, love- teacher and stuff, people are just like, oh, awkward moment. I'm just like, I don't care. I don't want to talk right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I love it. It's, it's like the, cause one of my best friends, I'm pretty sure he's, um, SIFI. Yeah. Because he's always been, like, ISTJ, like, MBTI-wise. But, like, he's, a he's like, he's very self-above tribe. And um, he loves making people feel uncomfortable. Like, he'll, he'll say to me that, you know, those things that you, um, you ask people where um, they don't want to answer, he yeah. prefers to say it in real life because they can't run away from answering the, the awkward question. Like, like, let's say it's just something really uncomfortable for the person. He likes saying it out loud so that they have to deal with that awkwardness. Huh. Do you know what I mean? But like, he, likes, he, loves- he likes to, like, he likes to be confrontational, like, just to call things out on the spot and... Yeah, and not even, like, not even, like, um, not in a direct way, not in a, like, oh, you did this thing, how dare you, and then the person feels awkward. More like, more like he knows... He knows something that would make them uncomfortable, but he'll like address it. And it's more passive and he'll relish in how awkward the person is. Like, Mm. and he just, he finds it funny when people are really like uncomfortable. Cause it's like, it's their emotions, I guess. So he's like, you don't have control of your emotions. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Did you you say he was a double decider? Yeah. Okay. That's very interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting concept. Yeah. Um, one question I had was because you're an IJ, yeah. and I'm an EP, like we seem to have like the control chaos issues. Yeah. I understand myself that I do like create chaos for myself. <laughs> I also have like this weird swing of like being super controlling as well sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for for an example is like when I'm at home, I get home from work or something, and I'm like really tired, and like if the house is a bit messy yeah or if there's just a few things that are kind of scattered around and there's no like order to them yeah i'll just it'll just freak me out i feel like i have to like control it do oh, you have wow. similar, do you have a similar kind of like tendency like with like because you're lead control do you have a weird issue with like chaos um, not with my not really with the sensory as much not really with um the sensory. I think maybe it's because yours is SI as well, so you're literally engaging with the sensory. Not not so much with the sensory, but do I have a weird thing about like sensory and chaos? I or mean, just um, control chaos. Any kind control of control chaos. Sorry. Um, do I have swings? Um, I'm trying to think. For an IJ, like um, I don't think I'm the best person to ask this. Yeah. About so, yeah, as you're well. very like you're a glass lizard, right? So. Yeah, it won't be as um, obvious. I do, I do kind of like go between moments of like, okay, I need to control. Okay, then I'm like really, really chill. But it's, it's they're not like big swings like across time. Okay. They happen very frequently. So, so I think you you'd be probably more balanced between know. control chaos, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I still I I'm bad at SC, but like, yeah. Yeah, I engage with it. More. You're bad at it, but like you, you do activate that, and your NI, like you act, it's activated, but it's not. It's a big muscle, so when you have to use it, you can use it, type thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. Um, I, I, I'm a, bit, a little bit like that with SI in the sense that like I'm pretty good at like creating a routine and actually still yeah. good and like being consistent. But yeah. the tidal waves come when I've like kind of just overgathered, overgathered, overgathered. Keep doing stuff new. <laughs> I forget about like all the stuff all the practical things and all, uh, I guess, creating the order of, yeah, in terms of sensory things. Like 
like I rack up debt sometimes or like I'll rack up like oh, like speeding fines and <laughs> that, that was back that's 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 in my path but yeah, yeah. Um, like I just racked up like not, um all these like toll notices like I used to drive on the highways without a tag so like I'd rack yeah. up all the I get all these letters about having yeah. to pay all these fines and like literally they stacked up like this high and I'm just like oh, oh my it. god I keep saying I'll deal with it later I'll deal with it later um, oh my goodness classic that's, that's yeah that's one that's one example so just creating all yeah, these yeah. for myself later yeah, let me try. I, I feel like there should be something though. Um, oh, like I'll just, it happens quite a few times, but like I'll just like not read something properly. And um, like, let's say it's like information about, before I do something, I have to like read the information. I won't read it properly and I'll just, I'll do something and it'll go wrong and I'll look back and I'll be like, oh, I just didn't read it properly. It's just that that happens quite quite a bit. And you're like missing context or something, or yeah, like, missing missing like yeah, missing information. Yeah, <laughs> missing information. information. Yeah, that that does happen, but it's never happened on a huge scale or a or a big tidal wave scale. It's always just like little just moments. What about um yeah. the whole like? I know this is more an EP thing, but um, do you do you ever feel like you get like you don't like being controlled, like the don't control me, bro thing, like? yeah yeah if like yeah. do you like if someone tells you what to do or how to do it are you kind of like very like no fuck you yeah i always thought that yeah it's i think i always thought that was ti as well but it's very like if if there if there are rules if there are rules already then i'm very accepting of the rules but if it's a person actually like telling me what to do i'm just there's there's always a, a resistance um, towards that, you know. Do you have like a, a fear of of control as well? Like a like a so you know classic mm-hmm. EPs are like you know the, the government's trying to control us and oh no always no you don't have that. I get re- for me I get really confused because I'm always like but like you need that. I'm, my mind's more like it's important like. I'm not controlling any of that shit, so I'm glad someone else is, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm appreciative. I'm like, someone's... Like, the fact that this house exists, like, like a team of people had to organize... I didn't do this. Like, I have no idea how this house was built. So, like, I'm very appreciative. So, yeah, 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 right. You respect so the control. Stuff. You respect it. Yeah, like... It, yeah, okay. Like, people are making it work, and I, I have no idea. So, like, I'm just like, wow, thank you. That's a really good perspective. That's a good way to put it, actually. I never thought yeah. that way. That we, are, yeah. we, live, we live in a controlled world, and sometimes you got to appreciate that because, you know, I mean, we, we have these houses, we have, like, electricity, we have all these... Like, like the, and stuff. Yeah, like, Jordan Peterson, funnily enough, like, of all people, he was quite, like, he was making the point that, you know, the fact that, like you said, like, electricity that it's running the amount of external kind of um, control and organization for like this house to have electricity anytime, like all day is crazy. Like the regimentation and like so many people have to do their jobs and like the years of like refining this, this way of oh, it's crazy. Just, yeah, no, just I get it. And it's like, it. and that like what we're doing right now is we're like, we're kind of rationalizing both sides and that's, ultimate like double deciding right like we're seeing yeah yeah both perspectives we're seeing like the the values the reasons and able to really just kind of really understand both and not be exactly. like more for one or the other yeah 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 it's like everything all the functions have a role like yeah. every single one of them in life it's just yeah and it's like just the not overdoing one or the other yeah it's just like yeah is there any um do you have any questions or like anything on your mind like about FI or TE like that you want to understand or like that you that you want to work out? Yeah. Um, I hear, I, I hear this quite a bit from FI people. Well, not like a lot of FI people, but like a few, um, Kobe Bryant being one about like how your man, your bro. emotions, pardon. Yeah. My bro. Yeah. And, and actually my actual bro. Yeah. My actual bro as well. That's why I was like, when you said your bro, I was like, wait, did you know he had F5? Like, <laughs> yeah, but he was, he was another person I was thinking about. Yeah. And he told me exactly about this as well. Um, oh, man. it's Yeah, that was crazy just now. But um, 
So they they talk about how like their emotions. How do I say this? How they feel about doing something is like a really key factor. So in the sense that, in in the sense that like, if 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 he doesn't if he doesn't if he doesn't feel like doing something, um, no, that's the wrong way. He can change how he feels to to influence his performance. Okay. It's like it's like. It's like, oh, I'm not able to perform this task. Let me change how I feel about this task. And then now I can actually perform really good. It's like this weird control. Like it's like you can turn like a knob on your emotions mm-hmm. and then it impacts it impacts how you are in the external world. And um Is his like, FI feminine or masculine? I think it's masculine. Okay. And um same for um well Kobe Bryant is masculine FI and he, he Kobe specifically talks about he has this muse cage and it's basically a collection of things that inspire him and motivate him. Mm. And he talks about light musings and dark musings. So light musings are like, you know, good things. And then dark musings are like negative things. But they all work to to make him perform, you know. Okay. Um so it's like it's this weird way of influencing your emotions that then influences how you so he's, behave. Like he's kind of like figured out a way to like kind of trick his FI to be able to like... Yeah, to do, to make him do whatever, yeah. Dave, Dave and Shan actually talked about that. There's a video that I watched in the class about how you kind of need to trick your FI into liking something. I, I can't remember how or like yeah. what, yeah, how it's done. How, yeah. Yeah, it's super interesting that like you can actually... You know, it's something you like naturally don't want to do. You can kind of work out a way to kind of, or maybe look at it from a different perspective and able to get your FI on board to then, yeah. yeah, I'm going to do this. And Dave will like indulge in dark musings as well to like get him on board in doing something. Like he will like focus on the pain and then he'll, he'll make him do stuff. So yeah, so that's not like nat- natural for you. No. Like, that process, it's like a, Think something to learn. Yeah, definitely. Like, there's something oh, okay. I do want to like take on board and understand a bit more, and like, um, actually deep dive into it. But That's I so think, cool, though. Yeah, like, but for me, like, I naturally in my natural state, like, I only want to do things like if I feel like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, that's that's not always good because like. If I just want to live, like if, if it was just up to me and I wanted to do what I feel, I would literally just be like watching things all day. I wouldn't actually get out and do something. I'd just be wanting to just consume and like take in more information all the time yeah, yeah. and then process yeah. it and then like kind of figure it out and just yeah. constantly in that cycle of consume and sleep. But, yeah. you know, like something I've learned through objective personality is, is like that, that kind of cycle really leads to like, can lead to like anxiety and depression. It's yeah, like, that's true. You're constantly just bringing in information, bringing in information that, you know, and then I'm not actually organizing or sorting it out or doing anything with it. Yeah. It's kind of like, you really need to engage all your functions in order to, to be healthy. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And you're exactly, you need to, it needs to be, it needs to come full circle. Okay. Um, and like, especially, yeah, basically, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Um, what are the questions? I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad that um, you said it's not, it's not natural. It's something you can learn mm. because for you, that's good news because it means all the other masculine FI people don't do that naturally. So it's something for you to get ahead. Yeah. It's like leverage. Exactly. Yeah. So you could learn that and you'd be ahead of um, FI people. Yeah. That's so cool. I, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know Ti. I don't know what Ti's version of that uh, is. Yeah. So I I, li- I listen to Tony yeah. Robbins, but to yeah. So like yeah. So you going to say something about Tony Robbins? Yeah, yeah. Because Tony Robbins masculine Te, and I try to listen to him to see how he uses masculine T T to make him do stuff to, like anchoring on the masculine T, and but his is very much Te because he's he'll literally say. Hey, if you want to do something, find out all the reasons you have to do something. Like, like see loads of reasons for something to yeah. for you to do it, and then and then hone in on like um like how you feel. But that's very 
TI doesn't look at like a spectrum of reasons though. Do you know what I mean? So I'm always like, is is that would that apply for me the same way um Kobe Bryant uses his FI? So I'm never like sure. I wonder so, like like so to answer that question, I'm gonna ask you another question. And that yeah. is like so with with your TI, because you're kind of working things out in your head, did you like as you're growing up as a kid and stuff, did you find like that you seem to like understand things differently or you have your own way of understanding like certain things like for example like in in school like in maths or something did you have your own way of like calculating like algorithms or did you kind of do it in like practical way um well do you have an example of where like you've learned something you've kind of figured it out your own way um and it's kind of but it's still kind of different to how like the the tribe understands. yeah 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 um No, not really. That's the thing. Um, not really. I uh, different to how the tribe sees it. Um, the reason why I asked this, this might help as well, is that uh-huh. I was trying to I was trying to work something out. Um, and this person that was explaining it to me, their lead TI. Yeah. They were they were trying to explain it in a way that. It, it made sense to them. So they obviously understood the theory that they were teaching, right? I, yeah, didn't, yeah. I didn't understand it at all. And I was trying to, I was trying to figure it out. And they were just like, it's just this, this, and this. I'm just like, okay, that doesn't, I don't understand that. Do you mean, do you mean uh, this, that, and then this? And she's like, yes. Um, also this, 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 this. I'm like, okay, let me try to decipher this a little bit. Um, and then I kind of like structured it out, like very simple, Simply, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Mean? and then she's like, yes. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. okay. So, but from her perspective, she was like, it's like, why? I kind of felt like I was like being a burden to them. It's like, why? I felt like she was like, why can't you just get it? Just this is what it is. Just this is this. This is how it works. So obviously, to them, yeah, it yeah, yeah. to me, it didn't. And I'm just it's, trying to wonder, is that like the TI versus TE thing? Like, I love, yeah. I I just love TE's response to TI. It's like. It's oh, it's almost like an adult talking to a child. You know how a child is very like fixated in like what like what they're what they're doing and how they see the world, and the adult just has to go down to the child's level, talk down to the child. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. that's how I see T E talk to T I. Like, are you saying that T E is like the the adult or the, the child? Adult, yeah, yeah, the adult talking down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I guess you can see the spectrum and TI is very fixated on one thing. Mm. So like it's the TE's job as the adult to bridge the connection. Expand it out and like make it work. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's so, it's so funny. Um, yeah. So get that, given so, that, have you like, given that. have you like tried to explain something to someone that haven't fully understood it or like. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I guess it happens with my, I guess, mm, let me try to think. It happens with things like, if, if there's something I don't understand and I'm trying to talk to my dad about it, or let's say it's schoolwork or something, that happens. Like I'm seeing it in a very specific way and we need to first untangle how I'm seeing it before we even tackle the problem. Right. Um, so I've seen it in my failures where it's like, oh, I need to untangle, they, the person is like struggling with how I'm seeing things, but I've never seen it in like a, sex, a successful way where it's like, this works because I'm seeing it in a unique way. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I guess you you never know your, because I, I don't know what anyone's thinking. Like, I, I, like, I just know what I'm thinking. Yeah. So if, if it works, I'll never be put in the position to know that I'm thinking in a unique way. Okay. So, so it's so like, like, I wouldn't even respond. know. The tribe, like, can understand what you're talking about. Um, for you, it's like, okay, they just get it. And I'm not unique in my thinking. It works for people. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll just assume how I'm thinking is, like, how what everyone's how thinking. thinking. Yeah, and if it works, I'll never need to engage with someone. Because it's TI, yeah, it's like, mm-hmm. it works for me. I'm not going to talk about this because it already works. Is um, there any... um? Do you like have you experienced any like FITEs that yeah. 
maybe they're more like dominant on FI. Mm -hmm. When they've explained something or when they're communicating something, just do you find that you've that it makes sense? Or yeah, the very um, is the language very different? It's very um, it's very pragmatic. There's no there's no ambiguity in okay. in what they're trying to say. It's very like it's. It, they they talk in a way if they're like going all tea about something and they're talking about the the, the logic about something, it they, they present it in a way where it's like it's really easy to understand and it's it's just very pragmatic information. A, a pragmatic way of presenting information. Um and it's like I I I, I like I'm trying to think of um It, they just seem really they just seem really smart about what they're talking about and like with my girlfriend as well like she i i think she's an isfp and she will talk and she just seems really intelligent when she's talking but then like if i ask her what do you think and she'll just be like oh i don't really think anything and like that always throws me off because i'm like how do you not do you, like for me it's like i have to have like a hundred thoughts for like for every sentence there has to be like a hundred thoughts behind it wow. do you know what i mean okay. but for like for her it's like it's like for everything she says it's like that one thought powered that one vocalization interesting does that make sense yeah I, it has to be really complicated i i over it like a lot okay and like, i, I want to understand that a bit more yeah so when you say like you have all these thoughts behind something and sorry do you know what her like do you have an idea of what your girlfriend's animals are like i'm um, pretty are sure she's consumed play sleep okay all right because like yeah I, i'm kind of seeing if i'm like do i do we do we relate thinking to the sleep animal or yeah or not yeah so being that you're like high sleep or you're your savior sleep yeah i guess your default state of mind is like constantly processing right yeah that's true that, so are you are you kind of saying that you're processing a lot of things before like you communicate yes you're yes fixated on one thing like you're trying to expand that's, out from like this one point and try to figure out all this like all the technical details nuance, yeah like the nuances it's like it's like let's say let's say i want like people are talking about things that are ethically wrong and then i want to say oh killing people's bad then i have to be like oh what about in a situation where this and this happened what about this and this I have to like really flesh it out and just like cover all the nuances. And then I have these developed thoughts and then I'll say out loud, killing is bad with the knowledge that I have a lot more stored in my head. If someone wants to be like, why is it bad? I have stuff to say about it, mm -hmm. but let's say she says killing is bad and everyone's on board. And then, um, and then later on, I'm like, Oh, d what did you think? Why did you say that? Did you have anything behind it? And she was like, no, I just thought the killing is bad. That's super As opposed to like, I'll have like 10 different like side points about yeah. it. And so like, you've like, like, yeah. So each point or each like opinion you have, you have like yeah. a multitude of reasons. Yeah. Um, yeah. All these different scenarios and each one has their own reason as to why. And you've kind of come to this conclusion as to why killing is bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, a I, I, kind of, I think I kind of get what like you mean, especially from her perspective is because, you know, I'm FI pretty much FI savior. Yeah. Like, I will say things like that. Like I'll have an opinion about something, but then if someone asks me why, like I'll then have to then, okay, I'll then have to then just start processing all the, the reasons. And then, <laughs> yeah, I'll have yeah. to, like, and then I'll have to like then share the reasons, but it yeah, takes yeah. a while. Like I can't just say exactly why I just, yeah, yeah. it's like I have this intuitive feeling as to why Yeah. I fully like dissect it all the reasons until later. Mm -hmm. Until someone, yeah, right. Happens, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. that's that's like another thing I struggle like with being like um blast last. It's like if I want to share an opinion, I'm always yeah. afraid of like someone asking why. <laughs> it's like, for sure. Okay, let me just figure this out for a sec. Um, yeah, yeah. Why. And then I like uh, brainstorm it. And this is where the play comes in. Like when I have an opinion, I need to like brainstorm it. I need to figure out the reasons. And then once yeah. I've done that, I can then share it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Um. Oh man, yeah. Sleep. I'm trying to uh, like I'm trying to also like think about it in terms of um, 
F. So like, so like, how does that play out with F? So when, um, when, when, like, when you know something's bad, like, will, you, will it be like a conviction that's like really strong? Mm. With me, I, I, I'm just assuming that's like how it's like for you. Yeah. Because for me, it's like the exact opposite. Like, why? Right, so, like, okay, when someone has an opinion and I have like a conviction, is that what you're saying? Yeah, like to do I with like, F, like, yeah. I have a strong feeling towards it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, usually. Oh, this is, this is interesting. This is going to go slightly off topic from that. So yeah. conviction comes in. Yeah. I'm triggered. My FI, my values are triggered. <laughs> Therefore I like, and then, then, then I can, then I can give reasons as to why, but I feel yeah. like the reason why I'm triggered and the reason why my FI is, is, is uh, has been damaged or, or triggered. Yeah. Is because I've built up all these reasons previously you know what i mean like i've, I've oh. developed all these reasons right and it's kind of built upon my fi yeah yeah so i now have an opinion about something and if someone right. that, i can then give the reasons does that make sense yeah yeah i understand like it. the it's reason why sense. the reason why i have a value or i have a belief on something is because of the reasons yeah yeah it's 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 very similar to what i was saying about my ti with like the nuanced points around it You've like you have already built up your FI to, it it, it has reasons mm. and it's like, and it's like they're not reasons for the sake of reasons. They're like reasons tied to the FI. So it's almost just building up the FI into like a solid thing. So like that's why it's triggered, and like it's the exact opposite for me. It's like whenever something is like an uh, an ethical problem. It's like, um, it always feels like I'm considering it for the first time. And it's like quite overwhelming. Mm. It's almost like something happens. I'm like, oh, that seems bad. But is, is it bad? And I feel like I need to take a moment to like really Process. consider if that's like a bad thing. Process it. And it's like, it's, it's almost like it's not, it's not a solid thing that's, that was already in me. It's like I'm looking at it like I was, just, I was just born on this earth just now. And it's the first time I'm encountering this ethical issue do you know what i mean it's so weird that is and um and it sounds similar to what you said about te and how if someone asks you why you need like time to like bring the reasons out because you didn't it's almost like for me i i don't have fleshed out values as much so it's like whenever someone triggers them it's like i don't know what to do because hmm. i don't even know if they're like really triggered yeah. I'm like, is this, is this really, am I actually triggered? I don't know. So yeah, you, you don't know if like they've, okay, I, I think I get it. Like, yeah, you, you're not sure if people are triggered. Or if you've sparked like a trigger in someone, it's usually because of yeah. reasons or because of certain beliefs. But to you, like, does that like kind of take you off board or why do they get triggered? And then you have to kind of maybe um, get out or... With, it's yeah it's only with me like if if something i think's bad it's just like i don't know if i do think it's bad like more like for me to be triggered by something or like if i'm supposed to speak out like mm. let's say someone's like oh bullying's bad and like i have to like i know that oh i should say bullying's bad too and i'm like is it bad do i care about bullying and it's Cause like, the, yeah because of the, the, the values so of the weird. tribe the tribe yeah, like, I, say it's bad but you don't understand it you're yeah, not, like I considered that you've not considered that as a thought. And prior, you yeah. Process it. And once you it, process it, it, kind of like yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it takes it's like a, it takes time. It's not like instant. Um, yeah, exactly. That's so interesting, man. We've been talking for <laughs> such a long time. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's yeah. Like, I reckon. Well, I reckon we should wrap it up in a second. <laughs> so um, yeah. Just let's just let's just kind of, I guess, finish it up. Is there any other like just last minute questions or like things you want to understand? I think from um, perspective, like I think I've got more of understanding of TI, especially the reasons versus values, like your internal reasons, yeah. external values. Like I, I mm -hmm. kind of see the difference between us. Yeah. And I, I, and I think I, I do see how 
I think somehow I think F I and T E like they work more together than T I and F E do. Mm-hmm. Like from your explanation, and and it's like cool to actually see, like yeah, there there are reasons intertwined in those yeah. values. Like I used to always wonder, like how can a value just exist? But like basically, yeah, you've explained that like there there are reasons related to them. Yeah, like, it's like they're not just yeah, like values and reasons that kind of go hand in hand. Like yeah. there's reasons for values and there's values around reason. And yeah. some people look at them as op- opposite ex- uh, opposite ends of the spectrum, or like yeah. completely different. But they actually like they kind of tie in like almost yeah. perfectly together. It's like exactly. I've I have all these internal values because of like external reasons. Yeah. And you like you have internal reasons because of the outside values. Yeah. And you that, one, that one's a bit harder. I don't, yeah. yeah. That one it's harder to I didn't I didn't explain that properly, but I, yeah. I kind of understand it, but just articulating it is, is tough. It's hard, yeah. It's yeah. like there's a there's a social a social norm or a social spectrum of values, right? Yeah. That people just have to kind of follow. You know, what mm-hmm. I mean? like don't kill people, don't murder, don't do bad things, right? Yeah. Whereas for you, it's like you see that. It's like, yeah, I get it. But are they like, is each value in that sphere like actually valid? Does it have a good reason? Yeah. yeah. You haven't considered all the reasons for why these values exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah, that's yeah, true. for me, like it's like, yeah, I get it. They're the values and like you don't need reasons. Just, just do it. Yeah. Just, just don't do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh man, this is. I think we did good. We did good, man. All right. This is good. I'll end it here. Um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys learned something about F I T E and T I F E. Yeah. Um, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah. No worries, man.